Good morning. I decided to start a new playlist, a new series of videos to track how I am monetizing this YouTube channel. I was inspired by another creator, Jen from Silver and Solo. I came across her videos. She was able to monetize within 10 weeks and I was just literally so inspired because she just has like this wonderful quality about her as a person. I just instantly connected with her. She blogs about being Gen X and being s single and you know, she's trying to work on her retirement and I'm, I'm trying to work on my retirement too. So I thought, why not just make a series to go over my desire to monetize on YouTube and, and see, you know, how I'm able to do it and how long it's going to take all that stuff. I'm so, so excited and inspired by that. So what she does on her blogs or what she did, because she's no, she no longer needs to do it because she is monetized. Um, what she did was every week she would make one video about her analytics and then she would make one video about her regular content, which was about being single and solo and like the stuff that she does, right? Like the adventure she goes on. So I thought I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to still make my videos about my, you know, my uh, product reviews and stuff like that. But I'm going to do this kind of video once a week and then put it in a playlist and, and do from there. So on YouTube, I wanted to go on to my account. So I'm going to go over to actually YouTube studio. And I'm, I'm recording this on my camera and I'm also resharing my screen here, recording my screen. And I'm just looking at my analytics. So first off, I have 199 subscribers currently. I don't remember the exact day or month even that I started this YouTube channel. It was sometime last year, uh, late last year. So 199 subscribers that I have. This is YouTube studio. This is kind of like the back area of, you know, a channel and you can dive deeper into your analytics and stuff. So I'm gonna click on the analytics on the left side and we're gonna see the overview. So it looks like I've got 27,000 views, 136.8 watch hours, and 14 new subscribers in the last 28 days. So that is very, very exciting. Um, I probably wanna change this to seven days. I don't really know actually, or maybe 365 because in order to monetize, I wanna to get to the second everybody says like there's a lower tier to monetize and I don't I don't really like that one I want to go to the original monetization which was a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within 365 days so I think it makes sense for me to make my analytics 365 days I'm not sure which one I'm gonna have trouble with whether it's gonna be getting the, sub, the thousand subscribers or it's gonna be getting the 4,000 watch hours but you need both so just looking at this, and I'm hoping that as the weeks go on, I'll understand this better, but this says watch hours, watch time 306 hours, which sounds really good, right? That sounds like I would be able to monetize fairly quickly, but I don't have that many watch hours. So when I go over here on the left side to where it says earn, and I scroll down, see, remember I said I don't, I don't really want to do this lower eligibility because it doesn't really have, I'm looking for the ads, the, the AdSense um, sharing. So that's this lower one. So 199 subscribers out of a thousand, don't have enough subscribers. And here, as of July 17th, I have 30 public watch hours. So why does it say on this other screen that, oh, it changed back. I have 306 watch hours. So you know, I'm gonna, I need, I'm gonna need to figure that out. I don't, I don't know if it's just because of the delay. Um, I also think that it's counting both the public short views and I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna understand these analytics much, much better and be able to hit that. So that's where I'm at today. Um, looking at my content, I do a mixture of um, long form, long videos, you know, longer than a minute and short. So just looking at my content from the um, past week that I've created, I have done a clothing haul. That one got 18 views, a couple of comments. I did one about the Dash ice cream maker. That one only got two views. Unboxing from the TikTok shop, 29 views. I did a morning like vlog one. That one got 24 views. How to edit my product videos for Amazon, 22 views. This one did really, really well. This one was published on July 4th, so so it's not, it was still within this month, but 749 views. That one did really, really well. So, you know, maybe I would go into the analytics of this video. So let me click on this little analytics button here. 
and just delve deeply into this one. So this one says I got six watch hours just from this one video and the video is only three minutes and 50 seconds. So it matters how many people watch it and then how long they watch it. So six hours on this one little video, that, that's pretty darn good. Going back, um, I don't know if there's anything really good to note there, but let me click on the shorts. And I'm doing well on some of the shorts. So you can see this ball launcher that I just posted yesterday, 607 views. This um, romper, 424 views. 10,000 views on these two shorts. One was talking about Amazon Prime and how I had, I had had something in my cart on Prime Day and then I didn't buy it. And then the next day I looked at it and it had gone up like 10 or $15. So <laughs> that one got a lot of views. And then there was another one about uh, caramel popcorn, which I ended up liking that product too, 10,000 views. So I think it's great that I'm getting the views on the shorts. Um, I mean, I think the shorts are, are really, really good. Shorts to me, well, I think to a lot of people, shorts are a way to get subscribers to your channel. So I, I do end up getting a lot of subscribers on my channels from my shorts. So that's a good way to get people in but I really think I need to get the watch hours from the long form videos. So it's like the shorts is kind of like to get the people in and then the long form is to get the people to watch. Um, obviously you don't have to be a subscriber to watch long form videos or shorts, but I think it probably helps to better your chances if you have more subscribers and some of your subscribers watch your content. I don't know. So that, I guess, is all I wanted to share today, and I am going to do this again next Monday, and we will review. Hopefully, I will have, have broken the 200 subscribers, uh, you know, threshold. I can't wait to do that, and um, I'll see you next week. All right, bye.